Hello everyone, this is Joe from Rincon Makerspace. I'm trying to follow up with what I promised everyone is a video on the valve adjustment of the heads on the twin cylinder Generac generator. The home stand by generators, they require a valve adjustment after the first 25 hours. And then every 400 hours after that, unless you're in an area where the temperature is above 85 degrees, in which case they say cut that in half. So every 200 hours of running time, as many of us know, after Maria, we spent eight hours a day running these machines and easily within a week or two, you could be at a point of needing adjustment. These heads came off of a model that uh, went too long between the adjustments and had damage to the heads. So we pulled these off and replaced them with good rebuilt heads. But I want to show you uh, kind of what we have here. I have a feeler gauge tool that we use and we set between the valve here. This is the backside stem of the valve and then these are the rockers. The rockers will open and close the valve. So move up and down. There's a rod right here that will push on this rocker and cause it to open the valve. So as you see here, this valve will move open and close. This valve lets the fuel in. This one that's really white and powdery got really hot and uh, that's your exhaust valve. It lets all the exhaust out into the muffler. What happens is if these valves are not adjusted properly, they come out of adjustment from heat and wear over time, then your valves don't open as long as they should or they'll open too long and cause the engine to get really hot in this case or it will backfire and can cause uh, major problems on these propane models. Uh, we've actually had some in town that exploded because of the propane lighting on fire back inside where the fuel comes from. It's uh, actually something you can see in here if the lighting's right. You see the burn marks in there, the oil's been burned, but uh, it'll start backfiring and shooting flames back into the fuel system. So kind of dangerous. But uh, this face has to be really smooth and mate right against the surface you see here. Now all this oil that's burned onto the valve itself, it happens a little bit over time. About half an ounce per hour gets burned to a valve. But this was exceptional because the guide down inside there, that piece, is sloppy. It's worn out from the heat. There's a lot of play in there and it allowed for oil to get down inside dripping from the top end here we lubricate all these parts with oil that comes up into this area but it was dripping back down through the valve and causing this surface to basically have what diamonds are made out of carbon smashed in between that smooth surface of the valve and the smooth surface of the seat once that happens it starts to deform the metal and it doesn't seal anymore so you wind up with a bad seal and then backfiring and stuttering of the engine now, what if your engine is not that far gone and needs an adjustment? Some things you can listen for when the engine tries to start, it may delay for a second. You'll hear your starter really struggle to turn the engine over. These starters are about $350 and pretty common to burn out when the valves are not releasing the pressure properly as they need to. So you can wind up with a starter replacement or you wind up with valve systems, the heads that go bad in which case uh, each one of these is about $250 a piece plus the gaskets and time. We've done a couple of those and they run about $1,500. So 30 minutes can go a long way to help you keep your machine running. I'm gonna end this video up uh, here, wrap it up. If you guys have questions, please put them in the comments. But uh, we have a kit that we're putting together for the feeler gauge, the hex key, the wrench required for the jam nuts, which I didn't even show you this, I'm sorry for not doing that, but we loosen the jam nut down below, then adjust the top hex key, and that will raise or lower the distance of this rocker to the valve, as it's backwards, but to the valve. And that's where we put our feeler gauge inside and we make sure that it's gapped properly so that we know it's gonna run at the proper temperature and everything's good. So, we're gonna put together a couple kits uh, with the hex keys, wrenches, feeler gauge, uh, the proper nut driver for taking the covers off and a gasket set. This kit is about $139 with tax. We're working to try and buy these in a group purchase and get the price down closer to like $85 bucks or so. Uh, if you're not into that, you don't want to do your own services, uh, the valve adjustments anyway, we offer this service in the Rincon area right at about $75, $74.99. So uh, let us know if we can help you by getting someone out to do the adjustment on a regular basis or if you want to get the toolkit, let us know in the comments or uh, contact us directly through the Makerspace page. That's rinconemaker.space. Thanks for your time and give me your suggestions on what the next video should be.